Okay, we're going to get our first glimpse of solving quadratic equations. Um, quadratic typically means the equation has an x squared in it, but we're going to expand that definition a little bit simply to match the current textbook we're using. Um, the exponent on the x could be anything bigger than 1. Okay? And so we're going to try to solve quadratic equations by factoring. And you cannot always use factoring to solve because you can't factor every uh, polynomial using traditional methods. Uh, so, you know, this, this only works for when you get things that will factor. And so that means there are other methods for solving quadratic equations as well where um, you don't have to worry about if it factors or not. You will be able to solve them some other way. So, the key to solving quadratic equations by factoring is you need your equation to be in the following form. You need a product equals zero, meaning you need things on the left side that are being multiplied together, however many of them, equals zero. And we know that if you multiply things together to get zero, then this has to be zero, or this has to be zero, or this has to be zero, or this has to be zero. So it's, we're using this property of zero to our advantage, and luckily for us, to write something as a product means that it's factored. So one side needs to be factored, and the other side needs to be zero then you can apply this nice property. Okay, so let's, let's try to solve some equations. If I want to solve this equation, x squared minus x uh, plus 2, sorry, minus 2 equals 0. Well, the good news for us, it is quadratic, first of all, because it's got an x squared. It's not just x to the first power. Um, the good news for us is that the right side is already zero, so we just have to factor the left side, make it a product. This is a monic trinomial, so it factors rather quickly. To get the x squared here, we have to have x and x, and to get the two, we need a one and a two. Now we know it's going to be plus and minus, or minus and plus, because the two is negative, so they have to be opposite signs. So we have to choose which one of those is now going to give us the negative one that we need in the middle. Well, a negative 2 and a positive 1 will give me a negative 1 in the middle, so I'm going to use those terms, or those signs, I'm sorry. And so this product equals 0, so when you multiply two things, multiply this by this and get 0, then one of those two yellow things has to be 0. So we can say x plus 1 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. So that means x is negative 1, or x is 2. So the idea is you take a quadratic equation, you use this property, and whenever you use this property, what you do is you reduce the equation that had x squared down to multiple equations that have x to the first power, right? They're linear equations. You can get x by itself. If x is squared, you don't get x by itself. You have to get one side to zero and factor. So what we're doing is we're reducing a quadratic equation down to linear equations that we know how to isolate the x. Okay, here's an example of a quadratic equation because of the x squared. We need to first get one side to equal 0, so I'll subtract the 4. And now I need to factor the left side. I'll use the AC method because there's not a 1 here. So the AC method tells me my product is going to have to be a times c, 3 times negative 4. And the sum is going to have to be a positive 1 here in the middle. And so two numbers that give us this product and the sum are positive 4 and negative 3. So I'm going to use those numbers now to split this x and rewrite it as positive 4x minus 3x. And then leave my outer terms the same. Now I'm going to factor this by grouping. So I'll group the first two and the last two. I'll pull an x out of the first two that leaves me with 3x plus 4. And I'll pull a negative 1 out of the last two that also leaves a 3x plus 4. And then I can factor out the 3x plus 4 that's common to both of these. I'll pull that whole thing out. And that leaves me with x minus 1. Now we have it factored. We have 0. So we can say that 3x plus 4 equals 0. Or x minus 1 equals 0. So in this case, x is negative 4 thirds. And in this case, x equals 1. So there's two solutions two possible solutions to this equation. In this one, we need to first distribute the x. And now we can see it's quadratic, so we need to get everything on the left side, which will give us x squared minus 4 equals 0. Factor it as a difference of squares, and then you can finish it. 